All right there. Hello. Calm down. Settle down. Settle down. That includes you over there. It's only some rare tickets. Don't get so excited. I have 35 rare tickets here and I'm prepared to be spending all of them because I have so many normal tickets that I can probably get quite a lot of rare tickets back for when there's an Uber or Epic Fest. And the reason I'm using these, apart from not having enough cat food for the guaranteed roll, is because Jace said to me, don't use cat food for a guaranteed roll. That's prudence to listen to him. Prudence, good. Listen to people. Take their views into account. Makes you you more rounded, more cultured, and a better decision maker. Our first rare ticket spins and becomes... Pole Vaulter Cat. Well, that's fair enough. Good for the old zombies and all of that. Pogo Cat. Well, that's another level for Jiangxi that I don't use too often, but you can't go wrong with another level for a meat shield. Rover, again, going to be useful for Cats of the Cosmos, which apparently I'm very far behind in. Swimmer, more good levels. Witch Cat, mm, this is where it's starting to get a little bit unfortunate in that I really, really like one of the Mola Mola units, even if it's not the Uber one. I just want something blue and fishy. Bishop Cat, Omoji Cat, Swimmer Cat, Stilts Cat, Mer Cat, Good for damage, but Murkat, Pogo Cat, Bishop Cat. Ah! Oh, I've got him! Excellent news. Right, well, that's finally picked up. Mola King, the angry old Mola face. Now, I've realised that I can be a little bit more nuanced now in this cat storage menu. Instead of reluctantly accepting everything, I can actually customise what I do a little bit. So I'm going to, first of all, accept the Mola King. I mean, of course I am. And then I'm going to definitely accept my swimmer cats, that's for sure. But the sorts of things that don't do damage as their principal advantage and so wouldn't really benefit from plus levels such as Sanzo which has an effect, the effect not being improved by plus levels, I think would be of more benefit being exchanged for NP because I don't have much of it and I might as well build it up. Keeps my plus level at a reasonable amount and yes technically we could all try and get as high level as possible and that would make Sanzo slightly better but actually I think I feel better for doing it this way. And it's probably arguable that we could do the same with Pogo Cat, but there is a little bit of advantage in having more health in a meat shield, though the increments it goes up in sometimes is not useful at all. But it might be useful, so I am going to use these. But Sanzo, I didn't really see any use in giving more plus levels to it, when the plus levels don't make the slowing of floating enemies any better. So I think this is going to be true for me of these remaining cats here that just have effects to slow or knock back. Oh, that's annoying. Why? Right, that needs moving. I'm trying to move along the menu and you just have your XP in the way. Sort that out, please. That sounded really aggressive, but I don't want to buy XP. I don't think anybody does. Dropping in from Survive Mola Mola, his size is almost without equal, and so is his royal arrogance area attack. Well, let's get into level 30. I've heard through the grapevine, he doesn't have much health, so I'm going to need to keep him protected well. And now he is the living legend, bears the burden of a watery destiny. Regrets? A good long scream can take care of doubt and worries. That is true. No! I'm not buying XP. We've been through this. So we're going to go into only brother left. We'll start off with a Meowler. And remember, it's fantastic torpedo -y strangeness. In fact, the, the back of it looks a bit like those sort of connecty bits on an articulated lorry. And its face moves about slightly. I mean, I don't know the significance of that. Oh, that was the time score stage. Well, I wonder if our extremely slow rendition of it was actually still fast enough. I mean, it probably was. Let's have a look. It was indeed. Only just about, though. Life's hard mode is the next level. Probably more difficult, you'd think. Oh, this one's got the adorable little fish in it. Right, okay. Well, let's let them move along towards my base. And in the meantime, I will develop my monies. I'm going to start with the razors. We'll make sure we have plenty of protection for King Mola. And here he is. Oh, he's huge. And I'll tell you something else. He's a complete mess. It's like whale wash from Shark Tail. We seem to have created quite a log jam of fish now. That's a huge number of them. And I'm going to have to do this again because I've completely forgotten the whole uh, time score thing again. But 
uh, it gives us more time to marvel at our fish, right? And that can only be good, surely. Hugely long recharge time on this thing, which means that if it does get caught out, which sounds to be quite easy because of its tiny amount of health, you are screwed for the rest of the battle as far as that unit is concerned, but I guess it does have quite a lot of power when you are able to protect it. Question is, with how many enemies is that really gonna be the case? I don't know, and I'll probably forget to ever use him again. Na 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 mola na 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 mola na 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 win I won. We're going to try and engage with a little bit more speed now in Sardine Bones. We begin with a molar unit that we unfortunately did not get. The more sort of well clean shaven and respectable molar. Although I shouldn't deem them by appearance alone. I do much prefer that unit because my unit's a complete hairy mess. Is apparently flipping arrogant. What's this? 2016 Reggit. And there we go. Right. Okay. I understand what people were saying. So, Jumpfish Sones is kind of out of bounds as an enemy that our King Mola will be good against. One shot, Kasplat, he's gone. Oh, cheeky crap, he's just giving my Meowler a slap. I haven't had a chance to do a single attack. He might have got his sneeze in there, though. That might have just been the Manic Macho legs, I tell you what. That is some attitude we're getting from one single crab. He clearly doesn't like the cultural appropriation of Crab Rave every time he appears. I'm conscious that I'm doing this extremely slowly again, and I've bungled my spawning of my living legend, so he's really far behind everything now because of the shockwave. But we will have this under control. I will meet shield very much, and crabs should be something that the living legend can deal with very well. Here is his moment of truth. No, he shouts, killing one crab. Well, okay, maybe fair enough. He's not that great at it because his area of effect doesn't seem that huge either. Oh, well, he's killed a few of them. But again, not a massively huge area of effect. And maybe that's what he needs to counterbalance the fact that he's so weak. Or maybe Ponos is just playing for time. True form, guys. Wait for the true form. Na 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 Mola! Na 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 Oh, come on now, crab. I mean, this really isn't working. My manic lions are getting decimated by one single crab. Why is this happening? Can Can, please deal with him. He did deal with him. But then again, that's just unleashed more of them. So I'm going to get Tropical Kalisa out. She's got a tiny bit of range. Give him a whack, Tropical Kalisa. Go on, get rid of these flipping crabs. They have outstayed their welcome and they need to be gone. I need my score. Get rid of the flipping crabs. That's better. Right, got the score we need. And now we can move on to the final, final, final three-star stage. One step from heaven once again. Let's go back to our molary slot. Start, Reggit, start. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on your score again. And you're not going to use the leadership to get it back. So we need to be right on it like a fail my test twice carb on it. Oh, double Junfish Zones. And of course, they outrange Mega Aphrodite as well, so everything has gone to pot. I mean, this isn't so much worrying about my score anymore as actually trying to get through this. Ramen, they aren't even holding up either. And I mean, if Mega Aphrodite has no chance, so we know the Living Legend won't have any chance. And now there's crabs as well. I might have to rethink this. I think I'm just going to spam Manic Erasers or put them out fairly often and then build up my Worker Cat. I think we have no hope in getting a decent time score score. So I've just got to do my... Oh, Living Legend. So we can work out at least, now we're at level 8 Worker Cat, that Jizo seems to be fairly decent against the Crabs as long as it manages to get a shot in. And I think I should wait for my Manic Macho leg spawning until there is absolutely loads of Peon stuff in front of the two Junkfish so but they are rapidly approaching and that is worrying. I need to sort that out But I think what I'll do is lure them close to my base then bring out Mega Aphrodite behind my base So they kill my base instead of Mega Aphrodite so Mega Aphrodite gets a chance to hit them So we hopefully kill them before they kill the base lot of factors that could go wrong within that probably will go wrong But I'm really excited that we have a bit of strategic intrigue in Mola Mola just as we come to finish it Things are really hotting up I think that's about as much gap as I dare leave, because I've got to remember the fact that the crab's going to have some form of range. And now Mega Aphrodite will be slightly behind the base, as will the Living Legend. And please don't move forward. Oh, they're going to move forward. Well, that's just ruined it entirely. Wow. Oh, 
Meg Aphrodite taken out in about two shots. Well, that's not good at all. Meg Aphrodite, I thought your AI was better than this. Plenty of crabs this time, so try three. Here we go. And this time, I'm just going to meet shield. No manic macho legs that might clear them out because I've just got to keep Meg Aphrodite there. Please don't move forward. Please don't move forward. I think there are enough crabs that we don't move forward. Please don't. Otherwise, you know, the whole plan's kaput again. I think I'm going to transfer to three meat shields because Manic Mohawk is fast and relatively speaking damaging, which is actually what we don't want. We need physical meat shields, but ones that are actually doing no damage at this point, otherwise Mega Aphrodite will move forward and nullify what we need to achieve. But certainly without the waves, the peons are keeping us where we are, and so this is the best chance I'm going to get to make this plan work. Problem is, as well as this is actually now going, I don't think the Meg Aphrodite is reaching far enough with her attack. So we are hitting a kind of no man's land of about two fish, and now they briefly, at least, and probably about to more oftenly, get on our base, which is really not what I need. We've got a second Meg Aphrodite just as they start really biting into my base and causing trouble. At this rate, there is going to be no chance to escape from it, except for that brief reprieve there. And this is now our only chance to achieve something before they get utterly obliterated by both of these. We launch an attack on them, we launch a second attack on them, but they're too powerful. Well, I tried.